Hello guys and welcome to The Overnight Coder. Today we're going to be talking about the Listing Pro 2.5. We're going to be talking about two different features that I just wanted to kind of cover. I had a lot of um, messages on my website as well as just a, a couple in the comments that were kind of curious about um, how you set up the business plans, what I do for the business plans, and then importing um, some of your businesses so you don't have to start from scratch. So I'm going to jump right in. Um, if you could, Make sure you like the video, subscribe, leave a comment below if you have any questions. Um, as of now, I seem to be getting to all the comments. Uh, so, you know, if you have those questions, uh, let, me, let me help you out. Um, so let's jump right in. So here's one of the sites that I'm, I'm just currently working on. Uh, I've done a bunch of sites with Listening Pro. Uh, this is kind of my staging site. So anything that I just kind of want to have fun with. Uh, I don't know if I'll ever launch the site, but, um, you know, just so I can test some things um, with, uh, just some different functionality. So here we have the ad listing. Um, and just so you can see, I offer three plans on this site and they're not set in stone again, just staging. Um, but as you can see, uh, something key for me is I like to keep all these about the same size. I've seen a couple of these where, you know, they, they come down and the last one will be like twice as long. And I really didn't like that. So what I came up with was I end up offering uh, a free listing, and the reason for the free listing is so that they can add, and I don't have to add all the content on my own. So this just kind of gets a user to sign up on my site. I have that member information, whether it's email or lead, and I kind of like that. So it's not just a free listing. I do get a little bit of value out of that free listing, you know, uh, i.e. email, i.e. free content, um, things of that nature. So I, I stuck with the free listing on this one. Um, it offers a couple things, uh, the map display, business tagline, location, website, business hours. All right, and you can continue on and things would be free. I have applied a little bit of styling. I know that the blue and the black are standard, um, but then some things I had to come back with styling or CSS to color the way I wanted them. Um, so that's this one. Now, the cool thing about it is, you know, 365, all of them are the duration. Um, the next plan is 1999 and um, it also includes, uh, this is the key here, everything from the free plan, which allowed me to keep it simplistic and not have to list everything from the free plan over here. So, and I'll show you how to do that. I've also got this color. I want you to notice that because I'm going to show you the styling or the CSS you need for that. If you weren't a coder, you know, so this is uh, maintained for people who are coders and non-coders. Um, so next I have the video. Uh, it's offering frequently asked questions, tags, keywords, lead form, and the rest you can kind of just read from there. So everything from the free plan and then everything from the basic plan, which would include everything from the free plan and kind of went on like that. Um, super simple. Let's go take a look at the, the back end. So for the back end, we're going to go to theme options and then we're going to go to, I apologize. We're going to go right here, pricing plans. We're just going to check out that free option. Um, just so you guys can, can actually see everything I've got there. So here, looks like there was a couple other things that you didn't get to see on the front end, like the gallery that we'll get to upload a gallery. Um, and it's just as basic as this, you know, my titles up here, scrolling down, these are all my options. Now, whether the option is on or whether it's shown is what you're looking at. So yes, um, the gallery is on, but I didn't show that, hey, you get to upload images because it's a business directory. You're, you're going to get to upload images, in, in my opinion. Um, ones that don't have images just don't look good. So I want them definitely to be able to upload those. Um, looking at it, social media links, same thing. You get them, but um, not shown. Here's the color that I decided to uh, select. Here's the paper listing, not the paper package. Um, just so you can see all my details, 365, and then continue free plan after expires. Super easy, all right? Make sure you update when you when you change that. And of course, you can pause the video if you want exactly my settings. I'm sure you won't want exactly my settings, but it'll just give you a, an open feedback of what I did. A basic plan, same thing. I'm just going to scroll down this real quick. Now, the only thing that gets funny here is your code doesn't save. So if I were to make some changes on this page and click update, that code that I had... Um, that said pricing plan or everything included from the free plan um, would not show here and it'll actually mess up your site. So every time I make changes on this, um, I do this last, but I add one more style and then this is the code that I use. You can see down here, um, it's bold, 
Um, so if you want to just kind of jot this down, what it's doing is saying, hey, I want it to be in bold. I want the style to be this color, which is my color code, and then everything from the basic plan, and then I close the bold tags. And one more time, I'm going to jump back over there so you can see exactly what I was talking about. Otherwise, it, it didn't stand out for me. It wasn't in the color I wanted. It was just bold. So um, that's how I ended up getting those. And then just so you can take a look at some of my settings, feel free to stop and pause the video. The other things, uh, the things from the first category, I hid because they already know they're getting them. They're still on. So what I do is I open up the free listing and I click on everything that was already there but I make sure it's actually hidden because there's no reason to show them again. And then I add the new stuff that I want them to have, um, like Google Map, uh, lead form, um, frequently asked question list. And then those new ones, um, I apologize, video, uh, is what I would actually show, just those new ones, if that makes any sense. And again, you can copy this and kind of use it as a guideline of how you would continue. Um, my color for that one is black. My price is $19.99. Obviously, don't use the currency sign. And then this one, I made it hot. I like to have, you know, one of them being the hot plan. I kind of liked it in the middle, just the way my color scheme went. You know, having it in the middle so it's not, um, not asymmetric. So maybe this one would have the hot one. I just, I didn't like that. And then last but not least, the last one, just so you can get a feel. Of what I did, same thing here, my code disappears, but everything from the basic plan um, with the correct color code, obviously you can see I've done this on quite a few sites, so I've got, <laughs> I've got a couple different colors pulling up. Um, and then just so you can see the rest, everything's actually on, 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 except for the things I don't want to use. I don't want to use a menu because there is no menu for this website, there's, there's no adding food. Um, and then the time kit and reserve a booking, I'm not currently using right now, I don't want people booking through um, them, I'd rather them contacting them through the lead form, and uh, as far as I know, these are two paid plugins anyways, and I won't be doing that for this test site. Um, so you can see, and I just show the rest. My custom color, my price, my duration, no hot plan. Perfect. I hope that covered some of the questions you guys are asking about on how I select my listing plan. Um, I've also added some text to the top of this for somebody. Um, and it's as simple as just editing it with Elementor, you know, throwing in some text, maybe centering it and getting it the color you want. So super easy. Your pricing plan is a page, so it can be edited, even though these pricing plans are just thrown in there by your settings. Perfect. Let's take a look at the um, importing, importing features. So I want to cover up two of the plugins that you'll definitely need for this. And these aren't just like random plugins that I just suggest, right? So what it is is... Um, Listing Pro 2, if you read all the documentation or read the forums and the blogs and everything else, they recommend that you use WP All Import. I haven't had any problems with anything with WP All Import. It's free. Um, and again, uh, no issues there. One other plugin that you'll need, and it was actually provided, maybe you didn't install it yet, maybe you didn't need it, but the WP All Import Listing Add-on. And the reason you're going to need this is because as of now, the theme isn't really by default um, showing you everything you need when you're importing. And this uh, add-on here that they provide, it was in your files. And just so you can see that, let me show you. I'm just going to add new just so you don't see everything else. Upload plugin, choose file. And this would have been in your listing pro zip file and then inside that zip file you had these hopefully you got the um, regular theme the child theme is in this folder and then your bulk import add-on is this one here so you would upload that theme by clicking open let it do its thing and you have that theme as well um, the reason you want that is uh, you'll see here I'm gonna go ahead and do an all import or new import I'm sorry all import, new import. Um, so first off, you have to have some data. And I know you guys are gonna have some questions like, hey Tim, where do you get your data? And they have plenty of different sites, whether you want a free data scraper, whether you can make a free data scraper. My first data scraper was in Python. I actually coded it. Um, there's many people on Fiverr that can provide you with uh, CSV files, some listings on yellow pages that maybe you want specifically. Um, but my key as, as a programmer, 
has always been just to find my own solution of getting um, these. So there's a couple good ones like Scrapebox, Bostel, and I think some of them might charge you $49 or you know might charge a service charge. But in the long run, when you're ready, I think it's well worth it to start your content up with you know many different things, um, many different listings. That way you don't just start with 10 listings, or that way you don't have to waste your time importing. I mean, $49, I mean, most of you guys, if you're going to work, you can make $49 in, uh, depending on where you live, you know, it could be a third of the day, it could be a half the day. I don't care if it takes you a full day to make $49. It's going to take you more than a day to upload a 1,000 listings. So just keep that in mind. Um, up, up, get, get, those, get those CSV files. So mine is going to be uploading a file. The file I have is on my desktop. It's in CSV format. It's in no particular order. You know, I just scrape the stuff. It's not listed right. Um, let me find that. It should be here. Uh, I used uh, ScrapeStorm for this one. It's a pretty cool program. I'm going to go ahead and click on that. Not sure what happened there, but perfect. It's a new items. Um, they're not existing items. The new items are not post. They're going to be listings. I'm going to continue to step two. All right, it pulled in some of my listings. And of course, I don't have all the information from Scrapestorm here. This is just the demo so you can start seeing what's going on. But in this CSV file, I have 21 listings. And of course, when I really do this, I have thousands of thousands of thousands of listings or maybe 500, you know, whatever makes it easy, how many ever I want for that specific niche. But this will give you an idea on how this works. So here I just double check that, yes, this stuff is showing up. I'm going to check another one just to say, yeah, I got a description on this one. I like that. Um, so if I'm cool, I'm going to continue to step three. Looks good. My CSV file. Is recognized so here is where you got to kind of know what goes into a listing and what fields you have or when you get that CSV file uh, make sure you have the fields that you have and this is the super easy part um, so drag any element so I want to drag title my mouse is acting funny sorry about that interesting All right, I promise that's the way it works. Uh, I am having a little technical difficulty. I might have to grab some mouse batteries. All right, so <laughs> ignore that, but I promise you what you're gonna do is <laughs> click on this title. <laughs> what is going on with my left click? and drag it into the top element. There we go, hey, just the first one. Um, description would go here, so I'm gonna drag that. Oh, it's acting a little buggy, I love it. All right, as you guys know, these videos are raw, uncut, and uncensored, so I'm not gonna crop any of this out. I'm just gonna deal with it. Um, this is acting really buggy today. It's not always like that, I promise you. I did have this problem the other time. I thought it was my batteries, but so I'm looking at my health on my batteries. Um, it looks like I'm pretty good. So description, we would drag right, <laughs> we would drag right in here in this block. And then I told you that you want to kind of look at these other blocks here. But what I figured out was, there we go, click and hold, make it easy. Um, the listing add-on, this is what that, that secondary plugin put in. If you didn't have that listing add-on and you don't see this section that says listing add-on, you're not going to have, it's not going to be easy to go through and go through like your different listing options and things like that or your um, filters to try to get those in there. But watch when I open this up. I'm going to open this up. This is everything I need. So I take the phone number. I drag it into the phone number. I take the, the address, uh, which is here. And even if yours wasn't called address, like mine is conveniently called address, but maybe you just see the address and it's called field two. It still works. It doesn't have to be called address. I think that was a big misconception. People were like, well, mine is a phone number. You know, it's just field one or A. It's like, well, just drag the phone number field, the one that looks like the phone number, 
and drag it into the phone number. So you bring that down here. And what it's doing is it's putting um, these boxes here. Let's say you ran into that issue I had. Could I just use this code? Of course I can use this code. So if I were to change this to phone and just copy, copy this code, maybe you were having the same issue I was, which is not probable, but if you did, just type it just like this. You've got the outside brackets, you've got inside brackets in one. Um, the spot where you would use two is here. So if this was, let me go down, email I put in there, website I put in there. Um, that seems to be all I have for that. Gallery images, it's right here. Downloaded images hosted elsewhere. We've got the hosting links. Here I would do, and I showed you, I would do image. This is me just copying them in. It says separate them with a comma, so bam. Then I would do image two. comma, or again, like default, image three. Um, whoops, I apologize, that was my mistake. Raw cut, or uncut and uncensored, I love it. You know what? It's because these aren't defined. This is actually called image one. That's where I made my mistake. This is actually called image two, and this is actually called image three. It's not like it's a it's a query or a um, a variable. It's actually the name is image one. So that's why it's still one. Image two, still one. Image three, still only one. If you had a, an array of these, like comma another one, comma another one. That's where we would use the second array. And I hope I didn't get too confusing there. Um, Keep images. Uh, I probably set the first image to the featured image because you know that's kind of what I like to do. Um, listing logo didn't really have one of those. I guess you could custom fields. Now you can check out the rest of these, but as of now, I'm pretty happy. Um, categories, tags, features. Perfect. I'm going to continue to step four, but this is again just so you can see. I know that listing wasn't 100% pulled out. Um, just a lot of people had questions on, you know, how does it work? Uh, I didn't see the option back there in the theme, and that's because you need to use WP all import or something similar. Um, create new listings. This is kind of just some general information. Feel free to read it. I'm not, uh, I didn't use any of this. I uploaded all my data. Um, scheduling options. I didn't use this. And configure advanced settings. I think I slowed this down a little bit. Um, like with bigger files and my server wasn't really going in um, on my first listing at 10,000. So what I did was I split up the file into 1,000 record chunks and let it go in at 1,000 instead of just trying to force it to do 10,000. Um, you would hit continue. Oops, unique ID is empty. Yeah, so the unique identifier was on this page, and we need to have something unique for each and every one. So while you could do title one, you could also press um, just auto detect, and that'll fill it out for you. But it wants something to uniquely identify each listing. Now, if your listings were maybe, maybe you had something up here like number, and it was number one, and you went number one through 21, I guess you could use that, but the problem is when you import another listing, if that first one is titled one, it's not going to be a unique identifier. So for me, the title was a really good, unique identifier. Nothing else should have South Florida kiteboarding or the next one. If it does, I don't want it. Um, adventure sports of kites, resurfing school, um, etc. And then when you continue, it's going to give you the summary of what's going to be done and you would confirm and run import. Perfect. Hopefully that discussed a little bit. Sorry about the uh, clickable events. At first I thought it was my mouse, but um, you know I don't, I don't think that was the case. If you're having that issue um, that you can actually see from my page, just just go ahead and type it in. You know, make make it easy on yourself. Don't. Um, but again, have fun. This was just a quick tutorial video, kind of showing the two questions or comments that I, I mainly get in my inbox, um, as well as kind of touching base on some of the theme options. Uh, enjoy your day. Feel free to like, subscribe, comment. Um, and give me a thumbs up. Let's make this easy.